Hello and welcome. The focus of this video is on extracting the fluid domain from the solid CAD geometry. We will begin with learning how to create capped surfaces to enclose fluid regions and then understand how the create regions task can be used to extract the required fluid domain. Let's get started. In internal fluid flow cases such as flow through a pipe, if the fluid domain is not a part of the provided CAD model, it is possible to extract it directly inside the ANSYS Fluent Meshing Watertight Geometry Workflow using a combination of enclosed fluid regions and create regions subtasks. Let us now look at how this can be done using an example. Launch ANSYS Fluent in Meshing Mode. Go to File, Read and select Mesh and then pick the provided mesh file. Once Fluent finishes reading the file, you will notice that the watertight geometry workflow has been automatically set up and all the steps till generate the surface mesh have already been successfully completed. This is because the surface mesh that we just imported into the Fluent has originally been created using the watertight workflow and saved after the generate surface mesh task. Such files when read back into Fluent retain the information regarding their workflow. The geometry we have here is that of an automotive exhaust manifold with four inlets and one annular outlet. Our aim is to simulate the fluid flow through this geometry, that is internal flow. Let us now go to the first incomplete task, which is the Describe Geometry task. The geometry contains only the solid domain and therefore, we are required to extract the fluid region. To do this, in the Describe Geometry task, select the geometry consists of only solid regions under Geometry type. Based on this selection, three more questions are populated in this section. Here, we are concerned only with the first question, that is, will you cap openings and extract the fluid regions? Note that this question is also available when the geometry consists of fluid and solid regions and our voids is selected. For our case, we will select yes. Leave other options to their default and click on describe geometry. The workflow now moves to the enclosed fluid regions subtask. The main purpose of this task is to create capping surfaces to cover or close any openings in the geometry and define an internal fluid flow region. The solid CAD model already contains the wall surfaces. We need to define the inlet and the outlet surface. The zone type setting can be used to specify the type of boundary condition that will be applied on the capped surfaces. Let's first start with the inlets for our case. We will be using the velocity inlet boundary condition for these surfaces. The name field is auto populated depending on the chosen zone type. You can either keep this default or change it as needed. We will use the default name for this demo. There are two types of cap types that the user can choose from. Single surface or annular to surface. If the opening is annular or ring-like, the annular option needs to be used. For all other openings, we can use the single surface type. We will first use the single surface cap type and we'll look at three different ways to create cap surfaces at inlet plane. To create a cap, the surface that surrounds the opening needs to be selected. Ensure that select by is set to label and from the list, select in one underscore face. The corresponding surface is highlighted in the graphics window. 
This surface surrounds one of the inlet openings. As soon as you hit create cap, a new surface is created which covers this opening. There is no requirement for the surrounding surface to be just a single entity. For example, the second inlet is surrounded by two surfaces. To create a cap for this inlet, set select by to zone, select both the surfaces that is in 2a underscore face and in 2b underscore face by picking them from the list or by graphically selecting them and click on create cap. A capping surface is created to cover this opening. It is necessary to set select by to zone before selecting the surfaces from the list since both surfaces have distinct labels. If they are instead grouped into a single label at the CAD creation phase, select by can be set to label and the appropriate label can be selected. It is also possible to create a single capping surface that covers physically distinct openings as long as they are on the same plane. For example, to create caps for the remaining two inlets, select both in 3 face and in 4 face and hit create cap. This will create a single capping surface that covers both the selected openings. In this case, it does not matter if the two surfaces are grouped into a single label or not since they are physically distinct surfaces. Let us now shift focus to the outlet plane. The opening resembles that of a ring or annulus. To cap such openings, we need to use the annular to surface cap type. Select this option in the Enclose Fluid Regions task. Since this is an outlet, we will set the zone type to pressure outlet and retain the default name. To create an annular cap, the user must select two surfaces that surround the opening. In this case, these two surfaces are the circular inner surface and the rectangular outer surface. In addition to selecting these surfaces from the graphics window, there are two other ways to pick these surfaces. One can set the select by option to zone and pick the appropriate surfaces or set it to label and select the label that contains both the surfaces. It is mandatory that both the surfaces for an annular cap type are grouped into a single label. In our case, the label out underscore faces contains both the surfaces. So we will leave select by to label and select out underscore faces from the list and hit create cap. This will create the annular cap at the outlet plane. Note that for using the annular cap type, the selected surfaces need to be coplanar. If not, multiple caps will be generated which intersect existing surface mesh and further modifications will be required to clean up the mesh. Further options are available under the advanced options section to facilitate the cap creation. The check cap self intersection is used to automatically check if the created cap intersects any other face in the model. If an intersection is found, the cap is not created. The max cap edge count limit value controls the number of edges that can be present on the capping surface. Now that we have the fluid domain boundary defined, we need to inform Fluent to extract the fluid region and this happens in the create regions task. This subtask is only available when the geometry consists of solid regions only or the geometry consists of fluid and solid regions and or voids option is selected under geometry type. If the geometry consists of fluid regions only is selected, that indicates that only fluid regions are present in the domain and hence no separate extraction is required. The only input in this task is the estimated number of fluid regions. This value is in fact automatically calculated and set by Fluent. By default, 
Fluent assumes that all bodies are solid regions and all voids are dead regions. The conversion to a fluid region happens in many ways. Please refer to the user guide for more details. Click on create regions to let Fluent extract the fluid regions. Any extracted fluid regions are immediately displayed in the graphics window. If more fluid regions are detected than the estimated number, a warning is printed to the console window for the user to investigate. Let's quickly recap what we learned in this lesson. For a solid CAD model without an existing fluid region, we understood how to create capping surfaces to cover openings and define a fluid flow region using the enclosed fluid region subtask and then extract this fluid region through the create region subtask, both of which are part of the described geometry task of the watertight geometry workflow. That brings us to the end of this lesson.